Welcome to the 2018 State of the Office Report. I'll be your tour guide, Tobin. A lot has changed this year. My family uh, left me for a couple weeks to help take care of a sick relative, so I had a lot of free time, and I did some math and decided I couldn't spend that entire time drinking, so I did some rare home improvements. I painted the walls, and the walls are painted a color. The color has a name. I don't know what it is, but it's basically black. And I came in about five inches. You can't even see it from the wall along the ceiling. And it gives the whole room a sense of depth, uh, which is an accident because I don't know what I'm doing. And these guitars seem to just float on the wall, which is really cool, which is again an accident because I don't know what I'm doing. So I did that. I did the paint. I had this big painting, which is just like colorful grass and stuff, so it doesn't really mean anything, but the colors go well. Oh, and I replaced the light. The light is now this steampunk Edison bulb thing with the LED Edison bulb, because Edison bulbs are really hot, as it turns out. I also took my IKEA cabinets and I turned them on their sides. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. It adds a lot of storage space on top, and because they're a lot less high, it makes the room seem bigger because the walls aren't coming in at you. This long one is on its side in front of the window. You can use it as a bench. The window, normally these shutters will be closed because the outside is bullshit, but they're open right now to let in some light. Guitar gear! That's what everyone comes for. I know no one cares about the guitar gear, but hey, it's, it's my movie. And I got a new guitar head. This is an Ibanez tube head, 15 watt. And the original owner put mullard tubes in it, and it sounds glorious. It's just straight up clean headroom all the way up. The cab is a Panama Guitar Cabs 2x10. I found I kind of prefer 10 inch speakers over 12 inch speakers. I don't know why, they're just a little punchier. Maybe it's because I'm not playing in giant venues. Down here on the floor! We have a tuner, pedal, compressor, noise gate, Wampler Euphoria, Wampler Pinnacle. This is new. This is an Earthquaker Devices uh, Dispatched Master. And it is a combo reverb and delay, and it sounds glorious. I have a John Petrucci Signature TC Electronic Chorus Pedal. So now I play exactly like John Petrucci, only slower and with less accuracy. And I have a BB Sonic Stomp, chorus pedal, BB Sonic Stomp. If you see that, you immediately know this person started playing guitar in the 80s. Up here I've got my other pedals that aren't being used right now. I have some pedals and my Roland JC course downstairs near my son's drum kit because he is a wicked good drummer and we do some jam outs. These are my totem animals. It's a sloth. Whenever I have a serious problem, I ask my totem animal the sloth. What should I do? And the sloth whispers, do nothing. And that's generally good advice. Up here, all the guitars are pretty much the same. I got this Squire heavily modified strap because everyone needs a plain old strap in their lives. This is new. This is something I built. Probably be more accurate to say I assembled. I parted out with warmest parts and some DiMarzio pickups and some hardware I had laying around. And it turned out really, really good. It's a weirdly loud Telecaster. I'm not sure why that is. These pickups aren't super hot. It's using an obsidian wire solderless uh, harness. I don't think that's doing it. I, I don't know why it's, it's really loud. It sounds really good. Alright, now on to the Digitalia. First of all, this phone is a new, it's a Moto E4 Plus. It has a 5000 milliamp battery, that means it can last a couple of days between charges. It's just the feature I like on a phone the most. This one over here that's charging up is one for my wife, because she liked mine and she knew a new phone too. My bop around machine is an Acer Chromebook, it's the flip book with the touch screen and runs Android apps. And it's really nice. Battery lasts a long, long, long time. 
And since I'm using mostly Vim and Tmux, actually NeoVim and Tmux for my development these days, I can develop on anything, just SSH, SSH, SSSSH, and do my home machine, and uh, I'm good to go. So it's quite nice. Got a new MIDI controller. This is a Samson Graphite 49. Most non-super expensive MIDI controllers are absurdly have really just really absurdly bad keys and they just feel terrible. These keys feel real good, so I got that on reverb use too. It's quite nice. Mechanical keyboard and mouse are pretty much the same. I got rid of my mixer because I just didn't have that many input needs anymore. Didn't get rid of it. You know, it's somewhere. I just don't know where. And the Dark Tower got some major upgrades this year, mostly because the Intel uh, build just kind of ate itself. I'm not sure. I think it was the CPU. Might have been the motherboard, but it was just no good. So I just went Team Red. I got an AMD Ryzen 1600 6 core 12 thread face ripping beast. And I also changed out the graphics card from NVIDIA to Team Red again. It's a uh, RX 560 or something. Not super high end. I'm not Bitcoin mining in here. Uh, the NVIDIA card with a proprietary driver for games is a wee bit faster. But the open source driver for AMD is really good. And AMD has been a really good member of the open source community in doing that. So... I want to support them, and because it's the open source driver, and just day-to-day -day Linux use, it's it's very nice and very stable. So that's all tricked out. As I mentioned, I'm mostly NeoVim and Tmux these days for development, which means I can develop pretty much anywhere on anything. Let's see, the headphones. These are still my these are my Sony's in here because I don't use my headphones in here very often. Uh, my nicer Sensenheimers are downstairs because the family puts things on the TV that should never go on a TV, like Fuller House and stuff like that. And I, 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 I can't. And finally, all my to-go crap goes in my good old trusty North Face yellow something or other backpack that will outlive us all. That is the State of the Office 2018. Come back next year when I don't plan on making any changes. And it should be that exciting. Bye-bye.